hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing day so today i decided to film a quick little video and i wanted to talk about acne so here's mine and mainly this isn't really acne anymore i just have a lot of scars so all of this is a whole bunch of scars and it's annoying and it's really hard and like uncomfortable and awkward like growing up and like having everybody else have like perfect skin and then it was kind of just me that that's still there and it hasn't been gone yet so today i just wanted to film a quick video i'm going to be getting ready and just talking about my acne my story i guess and what i've been using so i just want to show you guys these is what i use so my dad works on Neutrogena, so I guess I have like the link up right there. And I use this soap and this one. They're basically the same thing, but they're just like different. This one is like a foam, and I really like this one. So what I would, I use this in the shower. I always wash my face in the shower. So obviously my face is wet and I'll just squirt this all over my face. Leave it on for a little bit until I feel like a tingling burning sensation. Then I just rub it in. And then sometimes right after using that foam one, I go in with this one, which is more like a jelly thing. And then you just like wash that or I just use one of them. I think another important part of like having like acne and stuff, and especially if you're struggling with it and it's like affecting you like confidence wise or like you just like have bad skin and you just feel like it's not good for your skin and it's just messing it up then you should really go see your dermatologist and i did that mainly it was hard because it was like my family members that were telling me i should go see a dermatologist but really i felt okay like i had accepted my acne and my scars and what my face looked like like, I had really truly accepted it, and I was okay with it. It wasn't bothering me or anything anymore. And they were like, you should really go see a dermatologist. Like, see what they tell you. See if they can, like, give you a prescription for something. And I did. And I did end up getting stuff. This is the, I don't know what it's called. It's like that. Oops. And this is for the mornings. So when I wake up, I wash my face or I'll just rinse it off with water and I put this on. And then at nighttime, I have to use this one. This is tretinoin cream and this is um, 0 0.1. Yeah, 0 0.1. There's different prescriptions of this, like the percentage goes like higher, but that's what they prescribed for me. And mainly that one is to like white out, like to I don't want to say bleach, but to help get rid of all of my scars, which is all I'm left with. Like literally, like if you could touch my face, it's so soft. If you could touch my face, it's the smoothest thing ever. It's so soft. But it is what it is, and I'm okay with it. It does kind of affect me still because there's days where I'm just like, wow, like I'd be like really pretty if I didn't have this. Or sometimes I just really don't like wearing makeup and it's annoying or sometimes I just don't like wearing makeup and it's annoying having to feel like I have to wear makeup just to hide this and nobody should feel like that like not any girl or any boy like you should just really I don't know nobody should feel that way so if you really feel like it's affecting you then yeah you should go ahead and reach out to your dermatologist or just like find help I guess but if you're okay with it then okay I learned it's just like a lot about puberty and growing and hormones so yeah your body's changing and I'm only 15 so hopefully this will all be gone soon okay now I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready so if you see me turning around often it's because I have all my stuff behind me so I apologize <clears throat> I grew up with acne 
It started in fifth grade, I think, or the fourth. I don't even remember. But I just started breaking out. And I was one of the only, not even girls, like only people in my class with acne. And it was really, really like... I don't know, what's the word? It was really uncomfortable and awkward for me, just having to be the only one going through it. Eventually, other people started getting it, but it wasn't as bad as mine's was, so it was still pretty hard. And I did get made fun of, and it did really bother me, and it didn't make me super depressed, but I did get like my self-esteem went down like it really went down and i started seeing a therapist but not mainly because of my acne but one of the reasons was i just i wasn't my best self hey. <laughs> Just text my ex Pull up on her for that late night face I know you got a man, but he ain't like this She been down since nothing Now I'm on, she gets everything I'm thinking she the one for me But I still can't let him get one up on me If I got it, you got it My problems, your problems Ain't breaking my promise Just trying to be honest Make it hard to love you Is it really how this supposed to be? Ain't talking about that nonsense Let's put all that shit aside, so girl, just hey, hey. We was moving too fast and then we lost it hey, hey. I would understand if you don't move on better hey, hey. Moving too fast, but then we lost it hey, hey. I don't even wanna open up this door No, I don't wanna stay inside all of our history is scattered on the floor Blurring all the enemy lines We're too far from the start to remember Why there's even a fight I don't even want to talk anymore I don't want to get left behind Get nowhere, tired of fighting Put the gun down, do the right thing That won't fix it any quicker We don't have to Open this door, no, I don't want to step inside All of our history is scattered on the floor Blurring all the enemy lines We're too far from the start to remember Why there's even a fight I don't even want to talk anymore I don't want to get left behind Get nowhere, tired of fighting Put the gun down, do the right thing That won't fix it we don't have to pull the trigger Come on, love, just show some mercy Do you really wanna hurt me? That won't fix it any quicker We don't have to pull the trigger Where are your morals that you didn't learn to salute? It seems that today I like you a little bit more It's like 10,000 hours later. That took forever. I know. I'm sorry. Um, so this is what my face looks like. And mainly I just did my makeup to kind of show and I guess prove that I feel a lot more beautiful without makeup. Like right now, this looks nice. It could look nicer, but it looks good. It's kind of hiding things. You can still kind of see them, but they're not as there as it would be without makeup 
So, like I said, I feel a lot better about myself without makeup. I feel like myself with makeup. Like with makeup, I'm still myself. Just feels different. There's nothing wrong with wearing makeup. I love it, honestly. But I don't like it when it has to be wear makeup because you're trying to hide this or hide that. Even though there's nothing wrong with that either. I'm just saying that's how I feel. I don't like feeling like that. I like feeling like myself. And if you have acne, that's totally okay. I have acne too. I have acne scars. And I have things to hide. But you don't have to hide them. And that's kind of what I wanted to tell you guys. And like let you guys know. You don't have to hide. It's just acne. Hopefully this acne phase will be over soon for you. So I was looking at pictures that I had taken. Because I took pictures before doing my makeup. And like this with my makeup. And then with my eyelashes on. And as you can guess, my favorite ones of me were the pictures where I had no makeup. I don't know. I just really like how I look without makeup. Well, not that I really like. Because I'm a little uncomfortable and insecure sometimes. But I prefer not having makeup than having makeup on in pictures. I just think that's crazy. Because yeah, like I feel like nice. But I don't feel like wow. Like I feel... I really just want to take it off and I kind of just like really really regret 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 putting it all on <sighs> I don't know I'm working on it I don't know what I'm working on but I'm working on it thank you so much for watching and just remember you're beautiful just the way you are and you don't have to hide so next I'm going to be using a cream highlighter and this one's by Lurbiderm in the shade advanced therapy this one's honestly my favorite as you can see, I kind of already went ham applying this highlighter. It's just beautiful, as you can see. And I like putting this on my chin, on the tip of my nose, even on my bridge, and then like on my forehead, and on my temples. Like, wow, like I can never get enough of this highlighter. It's absolutely my favorite. And I just like putting it all over. 